number jokes. It's a thing I made up. What are we going to talk about? We're going to talk about what is a number joke, some theoretical questions that they bring up, uh, a, an algorithm for generating a specific kind of number joke, and then my computer will perform a stand-up routine for you. So we'll try to breeze through this. OK, here we go. A number joke is an ordered sequence of numbers, the progression of which mimics the structure of a joke. So um, for example, here's a joke with a specific structure. It's called the garden path structure. This is by Rodney Dangerfield. When I was a kid, my parents moved a lot, but I always found them. And here's a number joke that has that same structure. One, one, two, three. Three, four, five, five, six, seven, seven. How the heck is that the same structure? Well, um, both, uh, both jokes here establish a rule in their setup, right? So in the danger field joke, the rule is move. It's a semantic rule. Move means to change homes as a family. Um, in the uh, the number joke, it's a uh, you know sequence rule or a function, um, and it's the Fibonacci function in this case. Um, and then the uh, the punchline makes you reinterpret the whole thing because it violates the rule that it set up, uh, like the setup rule. Um, and makes you rethink what the rule is. And then you realize that you've actually been following a different rule the whole time. So uh, in the danger field joke, move means literally move around as an independent object in space. And so that's the, the semantic uh, rule there. And then for, uh, for this sequence, you're instead of it being the Fibonacci numbers, you're actually uh, adding the, um, I guess you're adding one uh, to the previous number every other time. That would be like a, a simpler way of describing uh, this rule. So, um, and, that, and that rule covers both the setup and the punchline. Um, so here's an in interesting theoretical question. Um, the, so if a setup establishes an expected rule um, through which you're interpreting the sentence or number sequence, and the punchline violates that rule and makes you realize that a different, less obvious rule was at play the whole time, what makes a sequence rule more or less obvious? Um, so if we want to generate number jokes, we'd want to quantify obviousness in some way um, so that we can put the less obvious sequence, or yeah, less obvious sequence as the punchline. Um, I have done some theoretical work on that question, which gets really complicated. So I kind of ended up avoiding it with my generator by focusing on a specific kind of rule, which is polynomial functions, where it's pretty easy to quantify obviousness, or just more polynomial terms equals less obvious. So if you look at this joke, um, the setup is linear, and the punchline is quartic, and that's great. Um, uh, so I think I've got like one minute remaining or something, um, but I really want to demonstrate a number joke being generated in real time, but basically the algorithm involves, um, fitting points to a curve. Uh, let me get my terminal up and run this real quick. Okay. Um, can everybody see this? I can make it bigger. Uh, ah. Joke. I think I called a joke. Tell joke. So here's here's my computer generating a number joke.
<laughs> so there you go. You got a joke and an explanation for why it's funny. <laughs> And then you can rate the joke on a scale of one to 10. Uh, and my computer records that information. I think this one's a solid five, in my opinion. Um, and there we go. That's number jokes. I guess, yeah, next week, maybe I'll present on, on algorithms. But thank you all.